Welcome back. I'm Paco Diff from the Water from Your Pocket. So guys, well, I'm sick and tired of waiting, and I really like the idea of this what if. So, yeah, this will be the semi-replacement for what if Alex Mercer was an MHA. So guys, apparently 102.5% of you are not subscribed to this channel. Guys, please like, share, and subscribe to this channel, and we get more, so you guys get more videos along the way. So guys, I want, uh, let's do a goal. You guys can get to three likes on this video. I'll immediately do the next part of this what if. So, let's get there, guys. Let's do this. Now, on with the video, shall we? <laughs> as we cut to a certain little bar as a woman walks in Elaine as a man turns Amanda <laughs> please take a seat bartender what do, I, what do you want me to get you sir please your finest scotch as you wish as the man goes in back ah, so Amanda why the hell are you in the backwater place like this? You know why, Ross. So spill it. All right, all right, Amanda. How do I say this? Project Nightfall has been getting worse when it comes to its mental state. What do you mean? Well, ever since Tia, it's been getting a lot worse, especially in the testing category. Explain. We've been trying to test new weapons on it. See if we can try to hurt it in case of it either A, you know, revolts and tries to escape, or B, we can use it against the others. Especially against the main members of the Justice League. And so, it survived, and not just that, it conquered each and every single one of our new weapons, including a new turret. Destroyed the darn thing. Nearly killed one of the scientists. <sighs> okay, how bad? About three marks towards the top of the abdomen, and each one half an inch deep. Oh my. No major organs were damaged, thankfully. Okay, that's good. That's good. Do you think we should terminate it? What? Do you think we should, ter we should terminate Project... Nightfall. No, no. We made too much progress and we have gone too deep. Why don't, just, why don't we just get the guy from before, take that thing out and, well, place it in one of our guides. You know full well, Elaine, how his quirk works, and that's not... And, and you know he ain't able to do that. <sighs> oh, God help us. Let's just hope we're doing the right thing. Yes, let's hope. As we cut to a lab somewhere. As there's a boy with green hair and with black wings. As a scientist comes up to a monitor and says, Project Nightfall, please step forward. As a small young boy comes out. With his black wings drooping, actually comes somewhat being dragged across the floor. Okay, okay, Nightfall, please. Stand right there. We're beginning test 308. Okay, as a man notices, all the other scientists put on their goggles. As these little panels start coming out of the wall as they start getting dragged down to Izuku's level. Yes, this little boy is Izuku. <laughs> as these little panels just all the aim at Izuku. Alright. Beginning test 308. What's the new weapon? Energy cannon. Ooh, a scorp like scorp. They're getting buried here. Alright. Fire. As these 
as these panels blast at Izuku. As, well, he starts hurting. He, he hurts real bad. And it's like, what are the effects? It seems like he's actually hurting him. Good, finally. Got ourselves a weapon that could hurt him. As something goes terribly, terribly wrong. <laughs> As black bats cover nearly the entire facility. As soon Izuku breaks out of the roof of the building as he lands on a pole. As soon as he just grasps his fist and brings it towards him, all the bats that have broken out of every single window, every single door, any place that's uh, in and out, bats are coming out as they all swarm around him, as they all flow to his back, and as they make his wings. As his black wings are sh outstretched, as all he does is flap. As a shock wave creates a bit of a crater or an indent within the roof of the building. As he flies up and looks at the moon. As his eyes turn red, he looks to the west as he flies. As he soon disappears and turns invisible. <laughs> yes, guys, I am doing this. Welcome to What If Izuku Was the Hellbat. Let's enjoy, shall we? <laughs> After all of that, we cut to the next day. As we cut to an island, very lush, very green, lots of mountains, lots of vegetation and all that. As we Cut to two people. A girl with very green hair and green eyes. And wearing a black and green jumpsuit. And another, a boy with black hair. As we cut to them. Ugh, God, I hate patrols. I actually quite like them, John. Well, ain't you the nature enthusiast among all of us? Here on this godforsaken island? Yeah, this doesn't really matter. Yeah, whatever. Let's just hurry up and get back to base. I need to get some more training in with my sword. <sighs> you and your combat training. You know, I don't really give a damn about your sass right now. <laughs> Wait, what's over there? Huh? As they see... A broken tree. What the hell? As they see a crash site. Come on, let's investigate, John. Izumi, wait up! As there, they see an absolute disaster. Except there's one thing missing. There's no plane, or cop, or helicopter. There's nothing. Only broken down trees, branches, and and moved dirt. What the hell happened here? <sighs> Wait a minute. Izumi, over here. What, John? Look. Footprints. Footprints? Huh. They look kind of small, but... It might be human. You think you might be one of the supers? Maybe. Might be another meta. <sighs> Come on, let's investigate. Yeah. But we also should, we should alert everyone else just in case. Fine, Colin, and I'll get it. I'll go ahead. Yeah, you do that. As almost everyone on the island actually gets the call that there may be an intruder on the island. As she finds, as Izumi finds a cave. 
Huh. The tracks seem to lead here. Might as well take a look. As she goes inside the cave and there's nothing. It's a very shallow cave. Like the light, like the sun is hitting the wall. Like the, like the very back of the cave. So she's like, huh. Whatever was here must have been long gone. Hmm. As water keeps on dripping on Izumi's face, as she looks up, like, what the heck is... As she sees a boy hanging upside down with bat wings covering him while drooling. Mm. What the hell? Izumi finally caught up. So did you find anything? Uh, what the hell? As John sees Izuku. Why is there a boy hanging like a bat? And why does it have bat wings? John, I think we should not focus on this matter right now. What I think is we, could, we should focus on telling everyone else on base that we have found the intruder. The boy looks young. Yeah, he kind of does. Maybe no less than eight? Maybe less? Seven or eight, I, I put up a guess. Hmm. Maybe she, Lady Shiva would take him. Eh, I don't think so. Why not? Well, have you not heard what's happening with her daughter? What do you mean? I didn't hear any rumors. Well, the rumor is that Lady Shiva's daughter betrayed her and now is working with the Bat and his family. Really? Wow. That's interesting. Where did you hear it from? Uh, whispers. Gossip. You know, basic rumors. <laughs> it seems plausible. She has been a lot more aggressive in her training lately. Yeah, I should know. <sighs> she is really being ruthless with a sword lately. As he just rubs his arm. Ugh. As we cut to Izuku, op well, somewhat waking up as his eyes are open. As he sees Izumi and Jan. As he just opens his wings slightly more and more. As he gets, looks like he's getting ready to jump. As Izumi just turns around. As Izuku takes his chance as he... Basically, jumps and glides out of the cave. As Izumi is like, John, he's getting away! Uh, as Izumi just throws out her hand, as a blast of water comes, as it wraps around Izuku's leg. As it's somewhat dragging Izumi. Uh, John, could you give me a little help? As John comes, as he grabs Izumi and plants both his feet into the ground as rocks and dirt just wrap around his legs and plunging him into the ground. As Izuku sees this, as he's getting somewhat delayed in leaving, as he basically just turns around and flies right at Izumi and John as his hands down to his elbows turn black. As his hands turn into claws. As he comes down and swipes at Izumi. As she just ducks. As, well, John gets a bit of the mark. As he gets clawed in the face. And flies a little bit back. John! As Izuku lands. As he just roundhouse kicks her into the head. And makes her... Well, fly into a tree, bending it from the sheer force of it. Ugh. As Izuku just goes and attacks Jan, as Izumi just blasts water at Izuku, as he just dodges it. As he sees her, as 
he thinks of her as a better threat. Well, the greater threat. Mm. As he goes to her now. As Izumi is really trying her best. As she's using, well, blast water and even, well, blades of water to try to cut him down. As he's just dodging these things with absolute no effort. As John forms rocks into spikes. As he throws them at him. At Izuku. As he just dodges both the water and the spikes at the same time. As he just, as one of his wings just curl. As they just blast in front of John. As they form into thousands of bats flying at him. As the other wing blocks a blast of water from Izumi. As he gets close, grabs Izumi by the throat and tosses her at John as she headbutts him into the gut. And basically they both slam into a wall. <sighs> as bats come right at them, as, well, they start getting cuts all over. And the more and more the bats swarm around them, the more cuts they get. As some bats even land on them and fighting down as they feel their strength being stripped from them. Little bits, but they feel like they're being stripped from their strength. As Izuku calls his bats back to him, as they form his other wing, as he starts to look a little bit healthier. As Izumi just notices this, what the... As she gets up, as Izuku just comes at her. As she... She's doing a bit to defend. You know, using kicks and punches, but... Izuku is... Well... Stronger than her. By a lot. Hell, when she tries to throw a fist, he just grabs it and just tosses her over. Hitting another darn wall. As his eyes start to glow... As more water is being produced all over the, well, the cave. As John gets up and tries to fight too. As they're putting somewhat of a resistance against him. But he just swats him away. As he's acting like a feral animal. As basically the whole entire cave is now drenched in water and stones. As Izuku just jumps back. <sighs> How are we going to beat this guy, Izumi? I don't know. What is he doing with his hands? As his hands start to, well, crackle with electricity. Yeah. Yeah, he's doing this. As he plants both claws into, basically, into the ground. As he just blasts electricity. Shocking the entire cave as, well, Izumi got the smart idea to get out of the way going to the only dry spot in the cave while John gets electrocuted. As he's just stunned as he just falls on the ground. Face first into the puddle. John! As... Izumi gets into a bit of a stance. As Izuku looks after that blast of electricity, he, gets, he looks a little bit worse. Just a little bit. So, your powers are like mine a little bit. The more you use, the weaker you get. I just guess you just gotta... I guess I gotta make you use all of it. Or at least just enough for like to take it out. As she f uses all the water that she has used throughout this fight. As she uses them to attack. While using well, m basic martial arts against him. As he's defending this well ball still getting hit. <sighs> Where's backup when you need it? As they actually get out of the cave at this point. As water blades just try, are just slashing. As they're either hitting, but doing 
somewhat nothing by only making little scrapes. Or he just moves out of the way. Showing some level of combat skill. And as he's acting, as Izuku's becoming more and more feral, you can say. Acting on instinct, if anything else. As finally, backup arrives. We came to help at what the... As they see, as, well, Ninja see Izumi try to fight off Izuku. As she is trying very hard, but she's losing. As the other ninjas just come out and fight. As Izuku sees all these people. With his glowing red eyes and basically black claws. Where the darkness from his skin, from his claws, are now have gone up to his shoulders. As protrusions have been coming out. Little spikes have been coming out of his shoulders. And even from the arm at this point. Little blades are now coming out. But he looks like he's getting a little bit more weaker. Physically looking weaker. As he uses both of his wings, as it, as both of them transform into bats, as he flings them all at the ninjas, as he goes and attacks each and every one, and they are all putting up an excellent fight, but it almost means nothing, as he uses more abilities, help, little beams of plasma have been coming out of Izuku's hands at this point, as he's using more and more power, as at random times he's turning himself invisible, as he just attacks once in a while, as he starts gaining, well, he starts to look worse the more and more he uses his abilities, as soon they just hear the word, stop, as all the ninjas stop, including Izumi, as they see, Lady Shiva. What is going on around here? As she sees, well, Izuku. Hmm. Lady Shiva, we found this intruder. We're trying to take him out, but he's a, he's strong. And he's kicking our ass. <laughs> okay, you didn't say that part, but I just want to say it. I'll deal with it myself. As Izuku sees her, as she draws her sword, as Izuku calls all the bats back to him, as they form into his wings, as he heals up a bit, especially, he's not looking great, but he's looking better, somewhat, as some of the ninjas are just out. Like a, like say, let's just say like there was like like thirty ninja that came to help Izumi, and now only five of them are actually currently standing, and one is not well. One is standing tall while the others are well, looking absolutely exhausted. <laughs> as Shiva attacks Izuku, as he uses his well one of his wings to block the attack, as he uses one wing. To try to pierce Shiva. As this goes on a little bit. Every time she attacks. Either his wings will protect him. Or basically his arms. Would do the same as his skin at this point. As his arms have been transformed to like a, like a dark steel kind of color. As she's been trying to cut through those parts. It ain't working. As the more they fight. Well, that stuff has been transforming him. As even his legs have been transformed to him. And like only parts of his chest that are not covered by this stuff. As she's trying hard, but Izuku is looking a lot worse. Like a lot worse. He's looking a little skinnier. He looks a little more sickly. Like a lot more sickly. As she sees, like the more he uses certain abilities... Well, the weaker he gets. And the more and more he fights. And so she uses it as her advantage. As this goes on like for like 10, 
15, 15 minutes of pure absolute brawling. As well, Izu got a couple, well, a couple hits in on her too. As she's also a bit scarred and beat up. As finally she goes into it for a final attack. As Izuku blocks, and but instead, Shiva just walks upon the upon his wing and hits him with the well the handle of her blade and knocking Izuku out completely. As the boy is now completely and absolutely exhausted. <sighs> oh, that was a fight. Okay, let's finish this. As one ninja, well, the ninja who stand tall after all this, tries to put up a finishing blow, as Shiva just basically says, No. <sighs> what happened? I can answer that, Lady Shiva. Izumi, explain. Me and John were doing our patrols as usual, but we found this little crash site. And so we investigated and we notified everyone else on the base that like, there might be an intruder on the island. And so I went to this cave, scouting ahead, and I found him sleeping. And so we waited for backup to arrive, but the boy apparently woke up and we fought oh and John is well he's in the caves knocked out still he got stunned by the electricity and my water what did I tell you use using your cork in close quarters it ain't safe exactly it's a very powerful ability, but it drains you as well. I know, I know. <sighs> you, go grab John and get everyone else to the medical bay, including you, Izumi. And get this boy, put him in a cell, but give him some medical treatment. He's looking quite sickly. Yes, Lady Shiva. As... This does happen. As Izuku is a bit chained. But not like slightly chained. Like classically like with handcuffs. No he's like heavily chained. With guards. Just looking at waiting in case if something happens. As we cut to Izumi in the medical bay. Hello there Izumi. Lady Shiva. You see, you've gotten a lot more hydrated now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like you requested. <laughs> so, what's going to happen to the boy? We don't know yet. There's a lot of benefits, but also a lot of consequences. He did take out a lot of our ninja. Some are, well, are a lot more worse states than others. Some are near death. But luckily, no casualties. Ah, oh, thank God. What about what about John? He's fine. He's fine. A little bit, a little bit beaten up, but nothing he can't handle. He's been through worse. Yeah, I heard. What do you think? What? You found the boy. You fought him first. What do you think of him? Um, when I first saw him, he was, well, sleeping. But. The way he fought, he fought ferociously. Hmm. Yes. But I, especially when I fought him. What do you think we should do with him? I don't know. Besides, I'm just a member. Besides, I'm not, I haven't been out to my first mission yet. Hmm. That might just change. What? You have yourself, you might have a mission, but if you accept it, it comes with great responsibilities. Do you accept these responsibilities, Izumi? What kind of well, responsibilities? Major. But I won't tell you what exactly your assignment is until, unless you accept. You know, I accept this. I accept the assignment, Lady Shiva. Good. We want you to take care of the boy. What? Why me? 
Well, think of this as a test. If you can handle the boy, you can, you can probably assign you more responsibilities and, and better assignments. Well, I guess that kind of makes a little sense. <laughs> so, we, I'll be trusting you with the boy, especially when he wakes. <laughs> Besides, so in that case, Lady Shiva, may I, may I see the boy? As you wish, Izumi. As she takes him, as she takes her to Izuku, as she gives a signal, as all the guards. Stand down. As Izumi actually walks up to Izuku. Well, in chains. As Izuku somewhat wakes up and tries to, well, fight. As Izumi just holds him tightly. For some reason, she feels something familiar is about is with the boy. Something oddly familiar. As she says, everything's going to be all right. Please calm down. As Izuku feels oddly calm around Izumi. As he does calm down. As, you know, let's do a time skip of two and a half years. As we have Izuku a little more grown and a lot healthier versus one of the ninjas. As he draws, a, as his, as one of his wings turn to like a liquid state as they form onto his arm and, and to his hand as they form into a sword. As he gets into a stance, and so does the ninja, as they fight, as Izuku is clashing blades with this one. Not using a lot of his strength, but just enough of it. As the ninja really tries, as he tries to, well, as he leg sweeps the kid, as Izuku just lands on his hand and kicks the ninja in the gut, making him fly a little bit. But the ninja well, sticks his landing as Izuku rushes as he attacks more and more. As he's getting a little more ferocious in, attack, uh, in his attacks as, as the ninja is now down on the ground. As someone says, round over. As Izumi runs up, is like Izuku, like, oh hey sis, <laughs> and she walks over and slaps him behind, besides the head. Ow! Hey, what's that for? I thought we agreed to not use any of your special abilities. What do you mean? I just use my wings. Nothing, nothing more, nothing less. Don't play dumb. We both know you use your speed and strength ability. I'm, I'm ten. I mean, literally, how am I supposed to fight an adult? Izuku? No excuses. But come on, sis. As two ladies drop down. He f did fight very well, Izumi. He used his strength, but not too much of it. Lady Shiva and Madame Talia. As Izumi and Izuku give up. A bit of a bow as as Talia al Ghul says you may rise thank you for gracing us with your presence madam no need for that and so you must be the boy I've been hearing about thank you madam hmm Shiva you trained this one very well I could see the potential thank you madam uh, Lady Shiva Yes, Izuku. May I, well, since my sparring sessions are now done, may I now leave? <laughs> yeah. You may. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Shiva. As he takes flight. Like, Izuku, we're not done with this conversation. Sorry, sis. I'm just going to be going now. Bye. Like, where is he going, Shiva? Either the library or the food court. If he's going to the library, that's good. If he's going to the food court, we're going to need to restock again. I'll explain later. But other than that, Izumi. Yes, Lady Shiva. 
How was your last assignment? It went well. No one suspected anything. They think the death was natural. Good. Good. You did a good job. You may leave. Thank you, Lady Shiva. <sighs> you think when when you think they'll be ready? Soon, hopefully. In c just in case. You need to be prepared. I yeah, I agree, including father. You're doing quite well, Lady Shiva. Thank you. As I'll be stopping that there. So guys, please like, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell to get more of my videos. So guys, three likes. Let's get the three likes and I'll make the next part. So guys, have a nice day, nice life. See you in the next part. <laughs>